Hello everybody. Today I'll be reviewing a pair of boots made by Peter Limmer and Sons of Intervale, New Hampshire. They are a trekking, hiking, and mountaineering boot that is of an old design and in my eyes the best boot that I have ever owned bar none that I will probably be buried in. Um, these are the standards. They make three hiking boots of different weights and colors. These are the heaviest, thickest, and most ruggedest ones. They are made from a top grain tanned outer upper that is 3.2 millimeters thick. They are flexible enough to be comfortable, but they are very rugged, very, very um, stable, have a lot of ankle support, and are made of one piece of leather that is uh, on the inside of the of the of the foot goes all the way around the front of the toe, the back side to the seam, so that there is only one seam, um, which has quite a few benefits as far as uh, ruggedness um, and waterproofing. They have a eight millimeter Vibram yellow label sole that has um, leather and rubber and more leather, I believe in that order, but don't quote me, with a complete leather inside. There is no fabric to harbor any bacteria or stink or anything like that. They are breathable so that um, the moisture can get out. You, um, you need to wear a nice thick heavy sock with these pretty much the thickest heaviest merino wool you can find for comfort um, I I thought they'd be a little warm in the summertime but they not any warmer than any other boot the, the, the thick socks are, are basically your cushion that you're using and that you're washing every day which works out great these are about four and a quarter pounds a pair they are on the heavy side but that has not been an issue for me at all. They, uh, they are crampon compatible, which isn't a need for me, but that's what they're designed for. I started working full-time about 10 years ago after college, so that's about the time I started wearing boots five days a week. I didn't really wear them on the weekends. I bought a pair of hiking boots that I went on a decent amount of hikes with that were not, or basically a, compared to this, that was a sneaker. But in five days a week of working, I would wear out a pair of boots every year. And I was not buying cheap boots. I was spending at least $100 on boots, and they would wear out every year. So about a year and a half ago, I set out to find a better boot, and I was talking to my uncle who has had a pair of these for at least 15 years. So I got a little idea what they were all about. But the $350 price tag kind of scared me a little bit. So I looked at Red Wing. Um, they are, they range from $150 to $250. They make a lot of different boots. And it, I, that was really attractive to me. And it seemed like a really good company, really good boots. But they had said that they could resole um, just about once. They could only really guarantee they could resell their boots once. Maybe, maybe that's not true, but I don't see a lot of Red Wings out there that have are 15 years old. So, uh, if anybody has a contradictory to that, they can let me know. But that immediately shot up a red flag for me because I knew that my uncle has resold his, you know, three or four times. He wore them every single day, as far as as far back as I can remember. He wore those boots every single day. It was not an image that I wanted from me, but I knew that they would last a decent amount of time. But after getting the boots myself, I do wear them pretty much every day. I've found I do like the looks of them. I'd kind of rather go a little more casual with sneakers, but sneakers just are not as comfortable as these boots. After eight hours of 
walking, working, doing whatever I'm doing. When I get home, I don't care to take them off. I would rather just leave them on. I don't walk in the door and take them off. I, if I have stuff to do outside or anywhere. I just keep them on. And it just doesn't bother me till I could go till 10 o'clock at night and my feet just love it. Just something about the, the old design of all leather as a, a material that is used and compacted and goes right back to its original shape, I guess. It just is a, is a long-lasting comfortable material. The, uh, they do require um, a break-in period, which varies from person to person. For me, it wasn't as bad as I think as others. Well, when I say bad, it wasn't as long of a period as other people would experience. I was told to wear them as long as I could until I couldn't wear them anymore. But I was usually able to wear them all day because I do some driving in my job, so I wasn't on my feet all day. But that may have, been, may have been an advantage because I could keep them on, strapped to my feet all day, and help to start to break them in. After, well, they were really as thick as a ski boot. I mean, as, as stiff as a plastic ski boot when I first got them. And I was just thinking to myself that I don't think these things are ever going to break in. And I was unsure that they had fitted me the right size, but... After a week, they were starting to move. After two weeks, they were becoming comfortable. After a month, they were comfortable. And after two months, they were like having a couple pillows wrapped around my feet. Just marvelous. Feels like you're, they're just a bomb-proof boot. Um, they make custom boots in Interville, New Hampshire that are a little over $600. There's a year weight on them, at least it varies from year to year. I don't know what it's um, what it is right now, but I don't have weird feet. I don't have any abnormalities, so the stock off-the-shelf boots made in Bar Bavaria suit me just well for a little over $350. I've, uh, I've seen many reviews um, in hiking and trekking forums in my research that pretty much the common theme with almost everybody and they wanted everybody to know to proclaim that this was an item that they absolutely had to have they love their families but as their worldly item this was the item that they loved and it just seemed weird to me I, I thought that these people were a bunch of fruitcakes but something that you have with you every day such as a wallet or cell phone you know those things come and go but these, I have to agree, after, like I said, I'd rather wear, go a little more casual with sneakers, a little more lightweight, something easier to take on and off. I'd rather do that, but these are so comfortable and so dependable, and they're just, you just feel like they're never going to let you down. So I've kind of made the transition to pretty much wearing these pretty much every day in this first year that I've had them. I probably did not wear them five or ten days. I had a couple weddings I went to. You know, days that you go to the beach all day, but I would throw these in the car with me just uh, just so that I would have them in case I needed them. Um, these are standard issue for the New Hampshire Fishing Game officers, so... Obviously, and I don't know how long that's been going on, but obviously they find some merit in a boot that's nice. So I think, don't quote me, but it's around 100 bucks to have them resold. So even if you add that price, $350, and you have them for 10 years, and you resold them three times, you're up to $650 in a 10-year span, which these will last 10 years, I would say minimum. Minimum, even at that um, price of six fifty for ten years, you're still at sixty five dollars a year. That price point is Walmart boots, so I think it's a no brainer for these things, and they're going to last way longer if you just use them for hiking or if you use them as a limited on a limited basis as opposed to me that's worn them almost nonstop for a year. I get on my right knee quite a bit, so unfortunately, cosmetically, this one is scuff scuffing up a little bit. I believe it's, uh, I don't believe, they don't believe it to be a shoe. I don't love it, but if I, um, if I really abused it enough, I'd have to get some kind of a cover, but 
I, uh, I hope for that never to happen. These, uh, I've seen boots that they could not repair, that people had used these for a shovel, people that maintain hiking trails. And what they would do is use the boot to kick dirt away. So they had worn off the front tip of the boot and into the stitching and into this um, leather. And once that was done, the boot was junk. Another boot that I saw that was junk had not been treated properly so that it had cracked in this area and just had dried out so that the leather was just dry and cracked and could not be stitched and could not be repaired. Um, the treatment process is a animal-based uh, grease that they, that they sell, that they have made for them. And I treat mine about once a month. They, they've been keeping waterproof and they don't dry out. I've heard that you can treat them too much, so I might start treating them a little more, but I don't want them to start breaking down. It's definitely, once a week is definitely too much, I've heard. But, um, overall, I just, I can't say enough about um, the reliability, the comfort, the looks, the simplicity, um, the customer service, the family, um, the people that are behind that make the boots. Just an incredible product, and I would recommend anybody um, that has any doubts to check online forums. It's a uh, you'll you'll find many people that feel the same exact way I do that have beat them, abused them, and just have loved them to death. They have a a small shop in Interville, and the walls are covered with pictures dating years back that are just boots on people's feet with a horizon. Just a pair of boots on somebody's feet with, um, in Nepal. I think the first person that did that was uh, somebody that had climbed Everest with these boots. I've read or I was told that Limmer boots went up Everest on the first American um, attempt or successful either way. These um, have been up Everest, I'm sure, more than once. So um, they're definitely legendary. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But um, the, the guys at, at Limmer and Sons, they are definitely much more qualified than I am to let you know about these things. Um, the two ways uh, you can find out more about them are at LimmerBoot.com, which is the... Um, the mail order business to get these boots or if you're in the area you can stop in their shop uh, that's in Interville, New Hampshire and their website is limmercustomboot.com because they are the custom guys that make the custom boots but you can also buy the off-the-shelf boots as I have here which I am extremely happy with so um, Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you and get yourself a pair of limmers. You will not regret it.